Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Caesar, and in this video, I'm gonna share the secret in growing a full and real beard. This is my one year journey. I'm gonna share my tips, my tricks, frequently asked questions, but most importantly, we are gonna share the product that made this beard happen. So if all that sounds good, keep watching. Before I do a close up and show you what my beard looks like now, I wanna rewind time and show you guys what my beard looked like before I started my journey. I want you guys to pay close attention to all the patches that I had on my side areas. This is for all my haters in the comments area and all the skeptical people talking about, oh, all he had to do is grow his hair out and that's all he did is just grow his hair out and it looks perfectly fine. Not true and I'm gonna prove you guys wrong because at the end of this video, I'm gonna trim my beard down to what it looked like in day zero. I'm gonna take a number one all the way across my beard. Rewind time. Nah, Now that you guys seen it before, let's take a closer look and see what it looks like now. I still have two problem areas. The first one is the goatee area. It does not completely link right here, as you guys can see. And the second problem is also my right side and it's right here. You can see the patch right there. It doesn't fully grow in right there like it does on my left side. I think my left side is looking pretty good. That secret product that took my beard from patchy to grizzly is called Vinoxidil. It's 5% to be exact and that's actually the ingredient. Um, the name brand is called Rogaine. You guys might have heard of it before. Here it is in the bottle right here. Rogaine is the brand name, but there are other companies like Kirkland from Costco and Equate. So those companies also make minoxidil. This product is really made for the back of your head, which is known as the vortex. But people like me use it to grow out their beard. And there are two types of minoxidil. One is the foam and the other one is the liquid. Before I started using the product, I did my research and I found out through my research that the foam product was a lot better than the liquid product. I think the foam is a lot easier to apply and it dries a lot faster than the liquid does. Here's how you apply the foam. You take a little bit on your hand like so and you apply it directly to your face. It's that easy. Some people spray straight into the cap and they dip their fingers in the foam and then apply it straight to their face. I think this is an extra step, so I don't do it this way. This is the way I actually did it when I first started using it, so it's more of a beginner move. And that way you have to wash out the cap, so that's another extra step. Tip, if you're trying to train your hair, right after you apply minoxidil, your hair is still a little damp. So what I do is I comb my beard hair and this trains the hair to go down. That way it acts kind of like a hair gel and this keeps your hair from actually frizzing up. So that's a tip right there for you guys. My minoxidil journey wasn't always this easy. It was a little rough in the beginning. I'd say that two to three month mark, it was extremely rough. Minoxidil, it positively and negatively affects your hair in your whole entire body, believe it or not. I even lost my eyebrow hair and this did not sit well with me, believe me. So I did what any normal person in my position would do and I pretty much Googled it. I asked Google if shedding while using minoxidil was normal and it turns out it is normal but it also depends on the age so the older you are the more you shed and if you have a full set of hair before you started using minoxidil. We talked about the full minoxidil now let's talk about the liquid minoxidil for a second. So the liquid minoxidil is applied with the eyedropper. Remember that minoxidil is for the top of your head. 
So they made it easy with the eyedropper, but the thing is you have to use it on your beard. So it's a little more tedious. You have to pick up your head like this and you have to use the dropper and get it everywhere. So to me, it's an extra step that is pretty much a waste of time in my opinion. A little disclaimer about the liquid type of minoxidil. I've never personally used it. This is just from my research and what I've heard people talk about. People do say that the liquid minoxidil could take up to one hour to dry and for me one hour is a long time. This is what discouraged me about buying the liquid and helped me buy the foam minoxidil. The foam minoxidil actually only dries in two minutes. I want to hear from the people in the comment box below if you guys have used both the liquid and the foam minoxidil. Could you please tell us which one you think is better in your opinion? I get asked about using products right after using minoxidil, so I suggest that you wait 15 minutes after applying foam minoxidil. 15 minutes gives it time to dry and to absorb into your bloodstream. So after 15 minutes, I use beard oil and sometimes I use beard wax. If you guys want to see the products I use, it's going to be down in the description box below. A common side effect that people have that I didn't experience myself is dry skin and the dry skin usually appears around the lip area. The good thing with me is I did not have to apply in the lip area except for that little spot I told you guys about. Other than that, I didn't have to come close to my lip area so I did not experience dry skin. Beard oil and beard wax help a lot on the hair. It makes it look nice and healthy and it keeps it from drying out. If your skin is drying out, you could use a little bit of lotion once the minoxidil completely dries up. Make sure you guys have a set routine when using minoxidil because if you don't, you'll probably forget to apply. It's recommended that you apply twice a day. I apply once in the morning right after my shower and once in the evening before I go to sleep. Don't use this product three or more times a day thinking that your hair is gonna grow faster. Stick with the recommended dosage, which is only two times a day. The more you increase, the more chances that your side effects increase as well. I sometimes get asked, when do I wash the minoxidil off? And that question is very easy to answer because I don't wash it off at all. I just let it ride all day and all night. I only wash my face before I applied the minoxidil, not after I applied minoxidil. Another question I get frequently is do I apply the minoxidil only on my problem areas or my whole entire beard? And this one's also easy to answer for me. I only apply in the problem areas, which for me are the sides right here and right here. It's not the goatee area besides that little spot that I already mentioned earlier, but I only apply on the sides. I think it's a waste of product if you guys are using minoxidil on areas that you already have your hair growing nice and full there. So only use it on your problem areas. The only reason I grew my beard out this long was to show you guys how well the product has worked for me. I'm only going to start growing it out this long once I completely stop using this product. Tip: The longer your beard hair is, the more liquid or foam minoxidil you're gonna have to use to get the liquid or foam to sink all the way into the skin. So the longer your hair, the more you waste minoxidil. That's why I'm not gonna keep my hair this long. I'm just keeping it this long to show you guys how it's growing out. Remember that minoxidil is made to absorb into your bloodstream through your skin and through your pores, not the hair that's away from your face. I'm going to stop using minoxidil after the one and a half year mark and I did some investigating. You cannot just come off of minoxidil cold turkey. So I have a little plan to slowly wing off of it. So at the year and a half mark, I'm going to use minoxidil for two weeks. I'm using it twice one day and then once the next day. And then the following two weeks, I'm going to use it one time a day. And then the other two weeks, I'm going to use it every other day until I slowly wing off of it and I'm gonna plan on using it until I pretty much finish my supply. I do get asked a lot, well, if you're thinning on the top of your head and you already use minoxidil, why don't you use minoxidil on the top of your head? And that's for the reason that I just told you guys that I'm gonna wing off of minoxidil. I do not plan on using it my whole life. 
So I feel like if I start using minoxidil on the top of my head, I'm gonna have to use it my whole life because if I stop using it, I feel like I'm just gonna start shedding and shedding the hair. So I don't wanna use this product my whole life. That's why I don't use it on the top of my head. And now it is time for all my haters and true fans have been waiting for. I'm gonna trim it down to that number one that I had on day zero. If you forgot what it looked like on day zero, here's what it looked like. Okay, my big area of concern is the spot right here. Hair does not grow there at all. I'm kind of getting scared. I haven't had my beard that short since day one. So I'm gonna trim it and we're gonna see what it looks like right now. No turning back now. No. I try to give myself a haircut while I'm at it. Mustache time. This is for the guy that called my mustache a Pizza Hut logo. I was gonna leave this part, but nah, let's make it like the rest. You guys could see this part better where the patch is right here. This is the area that for whatever reason it does not want to grow in right here all right you guys trimmed it up a number one which is one eighth of an inch this is what it looks like you guys tell me what you guys think like i think that the minoxidil work a lot like this is my left side i'm going to show you guys what it looked like day one right here I think it's a whole lot better, especially my left side. This is like my good side. So let's go to the right side. So you could still see this patch right here. I mean, I keep applying minoxidil, I keep applying, but for whatever reason, that side does not want to grow. I think I'm just gonna um, cake it up a little bit more, only twice a day, but just put a little bit extra in that area to see if I could get it going. But uh, this is what it looks like now, one year later, and let me show you guys what my right side looked like on day zero. I want your guys' honest opinion if you think minoxidil worked for me or if you think it looks the same. Subscribe if you guys want to check out how it's going to look one and a half years through my journey. And I'm also going to do a video once I completely stop using minoxidil to see if I got to keep all those hairs there. Till next time, haters going to hate.